Hi and welcome to Snowdrop Valley here near Wedden Cross on Exmoor. So Snowdrop Valley is a remote valley, as I said, near Wedden Cross and it's owned by the Badgeworthy Land Company. Every year they open Snowdrop Valley to the public. So this year, 2023, it's open until the 26th of February. So there's three walks and I took the most popular one this morning. I'm going to put some shots of that in here now. It's about a mile down and then a further mile back up and that's up quite a steep slope. And don't forget to bring your wellies because it's quite muddy. So parking is £5 for a car or £10 for a minibus and £20 for a coach. And you pay at a kiosk in the car park which is open from 9 till 4 and they have maps there as well with each of the walks on them. So payment is by cash only. There's a machine in the village if you forgot your cash. For those who want or need it, there's also a private taxi. And I'll put details of that in the description box below. Dogs are very welcome, but they need to be on a lead. Ah, oh, it is just so peaceful, so tranquil down here. It's a beautiful, sunshiny winter day. I'm gonna give you a look around. I'm gonna play not a lot of music. I just want you to appreciate the beautiful sounds of nature down here, the flowing river and the tweeting birds. While we're walking, I'll also give you some fascinating facts about snowdrops. Snowdrops may have arrived in Britain with the Benedictine monks in the 11th century. They were introduced into this valley in the 13th century by monks from nearby Dunster as a symbol of Candlemas on the 2nd of February. Many people think that they're named after snow, but they're actually named after earrings and the women in the 16th and 17th century wore dangly drop earrings known as snowdrops and they were named after these, I read on the internet. The Greek name for snowdrops is galanthus and that means milk flower. Snowdrops hang their heads down because the pollen can only attract winter insects if it's kept dry, so they protect the pollen for their survival. And at 10 degrees centigrade, the petals open up. But below 10 degrees centigrade, the petals close to protect the nectar. If you're looking for refreshments before or after your walk, there's a kiosk in the car park and that's raising money for local charities. There's also the village shop you could go to and also the Rest and Be Thankful Inn. If you're new to my channel, you may not know that I do content from all around the southwest of England and I try to upload videos every Sunday from different places all over the southwest. So you might want to check out my channel, Southwest Sundays, if you've not done that before, and subscribe and you'll get alerted when I make new videos and put them up. So I'm gonna say goodbye from here. Thanks so much for watching everybody. It's been so delightful walking around here today and showing you this amazing place. I know I came out here last year, but a lot of you are new to the channel and I really wanted to show you how beautiful it is here. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.